Alright, back again with another update. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the stuff I've been working on the past few days. But the biggest feature I've gotten working since the last update is the user auth. That's another big thing I've been working on today. As well as some front end styling and just general feel UX of the app. So this is the this is what you'll see. This will be a landing page. This will be an explore page register or login. This is what you'll see if you're not logged in, if you're not authenticated. So obviously register works. So now it's, um, it's it, 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 it works in all the facets you'd expect it to work. Okay, form's not gonna submit unless I fill everything out. And then I also brought in this password checking library. I also brought in this password checking library. So let's say password has to at least be two, I believe. Um, right? So it has to at least be two to get accepted. Also, obviously, it has to confirm the passwords. Um, but if the password string is passed to, then you can go ahead and register, whoops. Um, I'm, <clears throat> okay. So everything should all be filled out. So I've got same password, email, username. However, what it does is it checks the database, obviously, and you wanna make sure this is unique. So if it's not unique, then it's gonna go ahead and, um, the way this works is it's getting the response from the API and pop, uh, popping it in there. Because um, obviously it has to check the API, see if this email is in the database, and if it isn't, and come back with this response. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then also if we go ahead and type in a unique email, we're gonna go ahead and get registered there. And once we are registered and authenticated um, via a token, that token is gonna stay in our header. So anytime we make a call to a private route a private route or a route, a route that needs authentication that token will always be in the header okay and i'm just going over the overview of how these work obviously inside of the code there's ways to attach the um, token into the header etc uh, etc et so this is that home page we talked about earlier all right same explore page artist page albums, um, songs, leaderboards, so obviously mainly the albums has changed. Another thing too is, it's not working right now, I'm not entirely sure why, but all of these will be private routes that you, you aren't supposed to be able to access outside of being authenticated, but that's not working right at this minute. Um, that's okay, it's a work in progress, and as you can see, login logout is completely working with um, all of the all of the users in the database so if you've got the right um, email password it's gonna log you in and then so we're getting very close to having this be contextual so now let's hop into albums which is the biggest thing I've been working on this whole time really um, so obviously I've got the images working now so it's multiple images and we've also got this and then when we go ahead and click on it, I'm bringing in the artist image and the album image, right? So all of these were bringing in the artist image and the album image. Now, like I said, design is a work in progress. So I, I like this obviously more than it was before, but I don't know. So with all of these, we're bringing, opening up that album image and the artist image. And then I guess I'll have the artist name somewhere. And then we're going to dynamically display what's in the database, correct? That's the biggest, That's this is the core of the entire app, honestly. <laughs> um, so we're going to be able to see how many favorites, how many likes a particular album has in the database, as well as go ahead and leave our likes and hearts. Um, right now, I have this starting to get set up, but it's not um, sending anything to the database. It's not sending a post request, which shouldn't be hard. What's going to be a bit more difficult is 
contextualizing if the user has already liked or not liked the album. So obviously, um, when it comes in, it's going to be like this. And then when you click on it, I want this to pop to one. Um, I also want, um, obviously, this to pop to one. And then it changes to one in the database. So that way, when I re-click on it, it's still one because this number is the amount of favorites that this album has in the database. Um, so I just have to do this persist. I'm thinking a use effect should be exactly what I'm looking for, but we'll get there tomorrow. Um, so yeah, another thing I need to work on is this right here. I need to have an update state. So that's going to be in the same kind of contextual thing as this favorites and likes. Essentially, it's I'm saying if this user that's logged in, so if this user has a like associated with this album, then go ahead and give me a filled heart. If not, um, empty heart. Same thing over here. If this user has a review associated with this album, give me um, update reviews instead of add reviews okay so then this button will be update and then i can have delete review here instead of add right so if they already have a review give me the option to update the review i don't want to see add review if they already have a review so likewise the rating if they already have a rating i want to see it populate in here and then i want to see an update button so that way they can go ahead and update that so if they already have it Let's get it, let's populate it, let's see what it is, let's put it in here, and then let's uh, let them update it. So all of that functionality should come in one swoop because all I'm doing is checking the user context to see if that user has um, something associated in the database. So once I figure it out, I should be able to figure it out with all of these actions, and then I'll be pretty much done with the albums page um, except for a filter component up here to filter by ratings likes hearts etc etc but yeah that's pretty much the albums components getting you know with career uh, with a complete crud uh, you can update you can create update delete a rating create update delete a review leave a like leave a favorite um, so yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Songs still in the same state they've been in for a while, but they're going to have that filter, which is going to be super usable. Um, so yeah, that's basically the update. Um, that's it. Yeah. Uh,